All right, so these three ratios that we uh, introduced in the in lesson 7a-3, um, they actually have names, okay? These, the, these ratios of the, of the sides of a triangle, uh, a right triangle, they have names. We call opposite over hypotenuse, we call it the sine of theta, okay? Uh, the adjacent over hypotenuse is called the cosine of theta, and the ratio opposite over adjacent is called the tangent of theta, okay? And we, we have uh, ways of writing this. We have abbreviations. We use, we use three letters. So S-I-N, C-O-S, and T-A-N. And so uh, we would write this as S-I-N, that's sine of theta. We put the theta in parentheses. So sine of theta is equal to the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse, okay? And then COS, cosine of theta, is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And then the tangent, which we write TAN, tan of theta, is equal to uh, opposite over adjacent. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same things we did. We're going to identify these three ratios of, of the sides of a right triangle. But instead of saying the opposite over hypotenuse, we're going to simply say sine of theta. And instead of saying adjacent over hypotenuse, we're going to say cosine of theta. And instead of saying opposite over adjacent, we're going to say tangent of theta. Okay, so here's, uh, um, here's one. Uh, we're told that uh, side x is equal to 5. We're told that side y is equal to 3. And we want to know what is the sine of theta, okay? So um, x is the adjacent side to theta. y is the opposite side to theta. And sine of theta, we're looking for opposite over hypotenuse. That's what sine means. Sine just means the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse, okay? Well, we don't know the hypotenuse. S is the hypotenuse here. Um, and so, uh, in this case, opposite is if of theta is y, and so we're going to do y over, and the hypotenuse is s. Now, y is equal to 3, and now we just need to find out what s is. And remember that we can find the hypotenuse if we do the square root of uh, the sum of the squares of the two legs. So all we have to do is square 5, that's 25, square 3, that's 9, so 25 plus 9, and do the square root, and that'll be s. So s is equal to the square root of 25 plus 9, that's 34. And so uh, we're going to put the square root of 34 here. And so sine of theta is going to be equal to 3 divided by the square root of 34, which we're going to do in a calculator. All right, so we're going to do 3 divided by the square root of 34, and that's going to give us 0.514. So this is 0.514, okay? So, in this case, the sine of theta is equal to 0.514. Let's try another one. Okay, in this example, we want to identify cosine of theta, and we have a hypotenuse of 19, that's S, and we have uh, the opposite side here uh, is equal to 12, but we do not know adjacent. But remember, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, Okay, and so we're going to need the adjacent side, which is x, and the hypotenuse is s. Well, we know s. s is 19, so it's going to be over 19, but we do not know x, so we need to find the value of x using the Pythagorean theorem. But remember, we can find a leg by taking the square root of the square of the hypotenuse minus the square of the other leg. So really, we just need to square the hypotenuse and then square y, and then subtract them, okay? So this one's always going to be larger, this one's always going to be smaller, okay? 
And so let's go ahead and find uh, 19 squared. Uh, so we'll do 19 squared, and that gives us 361, okay? So this is going to be the square root of 361 minus, well, 12 squared, we know that one, that's 144, minus 144. So I'm going to do 361 minus 144 in the calculator. And that gives us 217. So we're going to have the square root of 217 over 19. And we're going to do that in the calculator. So we're going to have the square root of 217. I'm going to come out of the radical and then divide that by 19. And I get 0.775. So the cosine of theta is 0.775, okay? Let's try maybe just one more example. Okay, in this example, we want to identify the tangent of theta, the tangent of theta. And um, the tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent, okay? And in this situation, adjacent is x, and an opposite is y. And so we need to find, we need to do y over x. And we're given y, which is 15, but we do not know x. So we need to find x given, given the hypotenuse and the other leg. Okay, so it's going to be uh, the square root of 22 squared um, minus 15 squared. Okay. So it's going to be the square root of that. So let's find out what 22 squared and 15 squared. In fact, I could probably put the whole thing into the calculator. I could probably just do 22 uh, squared minus 15 squared. Uh, if I do the whole thing, I just get 259. Okay. So uh, this is going to be the square root of 259. So we'll put the square root of 259. So the length of x is the square root of 259, and y is 15, and so opposite over adjacent is 15 over the square root of 259. So we'll do 15 divided by square root of 259, and that's going to be 0.932. Okay? So the tangent of theta is point, oops, excuse me. Let's see here, 0.932, okay? And that's how we identify uh, sine, cosine, and tangent when we know only two of the sides of a right triangle.